New at six, one of the oldest public schools in the CMS school district is set to be demolished this year. West Charlotte High School was established in 1938 and it was produced several notable alumni, professional athletes, business leaders and state representatives are all graduates of the high school near Beatty's Ford Road, including Charlotte's 54th mayor, Anthony Fox. WCNC Charlotte's Shamaria Morrison visited the school's final celebration with alumni as far back as the class of 1946. There were hundreds of people out here celebrating the legacy of West Charlotte High School, one of the oldest all-black high schools in the nation. I spoke to some people who told me they have memories that will last a lifetime. It took about 40 years after its founding for West Charlotte High School to be desegregated in the fall of 1970. This is one of the, one of the few places. originally all African-American high schools that is still in existence in the country. And to begin a new legacy, not, not starting over, a new legacy that continues to lie in pride is just absolutely fantastic. Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools is tearing down the original building and moving students to a new location next school year. The building does hold memories, but the spirit will go wherever um, the students are. And Absolutely. so we're happy that these students are going to get some new facilities. It's time. Hundreds of former alumni came to walk through the hallways for the last time. Classmates grilled and caught up after decades apart. All right. People took their last photo of the school that changed their lives. Truly a great experience just to be here at home for the reunion of West Charlotte. It's a bittersweet moment. Of course, the old school, you know, we're going to say goodbye and give it a rest, but it will never leave us. It will never leave our hearts. The school known as Dub C in the community will move to a high-tech campus right next door. Shamari Morrison, WCNC Charlotte.